Okay, recording. Okay, hey, welcome people. So this is a design sprint invitation for Saturday, 1 p.m. CST USA time, which is good for USA audiences and Europe, potentially, if people get on in the evening. So we're going to try a design sprint on identifying SMEs. SMEs are a critical part of what we do at Open Source Ecology in terms of the development. You can download, you can either develop for years or months or years by yourself, or you can invite people who are in the know as subject matter experts to provide rapid learning. So in this design sprint, uh, you can look at, first of all, the OSC design sprint page on a wiki, opensourceecology.org wiki. OSC design sprint. So to the agenda, go to the uh, join us for the next design sprint, design sprint log, click on the first link here, and I will post all these links here uh, below this vi invitation video so you can take a look at that later. Take a look below later. Um, I need to share my screen. Let me do that. Sharing the screen. right here share I'm gonna walk you through where where we're at so design sprint page on the wiki OSC design sprint or design sprint on the wiki click on the first link which is the design sprint September 2016 log September 27 is the date it's the SME search design sprint okay so on this page it's just a log with a Google Doc embedded you can click on it you can sign in so this document right here, this, this Google presentation, is actually open access completely. Anyone can edit this. So if you go to the first page, for example, you can type in your, your name so we keep a log of who participated. So that's just a working document. We can refer to it. And in this design sprint, we're primarily preparing for the upcoming workshops. We have a greenhouse build, we have a, a seed eco home build, Aquapana greenhouse seed eco home. Those are announced for November. There's also a September event coming up in about 30 days, which is a one day build of the compressed earth brick press. So, our goal in this design sprint is to get some assistance in terms of recruiting a team of advisors for some of the technical challenge problem areas related to these projects so if you want to know more about who we are who is on our team already if you go to open building institute which is our recent recent initiative you can see what expertise we already have so you can scroll through all the people that we have and when we talk about looking for more SMEs we can say okay what is missing towards the specific deliverables so this is a fallout of a very successful Kickstarter campaign. We raised 100, almost $116,000 for the Open Building Institute. And now we've got some technical challenges in, the, in order to develop the, the Seed Eco Home. This is an infographic on the Open Building Institute page. Uh, there is this, this Seed Eco Home is building upon several previous builds with brick press uh, slash modular carpentry uh, eco home design that we're pioneering in terms of the rapid parallel build and in this current design there's a few elements that we haven't tried we've we've already done things like the brick floor the hydronic heating under the floor brick walls we've gotten the modular roof panels uh, we've done the entire structure but there's many many pieces missing so let's go over the things that are critical that we don't have experience with in terms of having a prototype built yet for which we're looking for expertise so let's start with water rainwater catchment uh, rainwater catchment system and a filter system which is here from rainwater or surface water up to potable grade that's one area of expertise biodigester modular biodigester so this house is calling for a separating toilet with a biodigester where the biodigester is producing gas for cooking nobody that we know of has made a replicable temperate zone home scale replicable biodigester so we're gonna, gonna aim to break new ground on this 
uh, another feature there's a pellet burner and a hydronic stove where the pellet provides the pellet burner provides the heat to heat your house using hydronic heat exchangers which feed the system under the floor they also heat the greenhouse with the same hydronic tubing we have a thermoelectric generator a hundred watt module attached to the stove which produces electricity and that's in the winter and in the summer which means that in the summer if you if you want to run get electricity outside of your photovoltaics which we're in pretty good command of you can run the thermoelectric where the, f the flame turns on automatically it would be like essentially like your hot water heater you don't even know when it's on or not but you'll be producing electricity on demand using the thermoelectric generator so that's the part of the power strategy um, there's 3000 watts of solar panels we've got pretty good command of, of that we've done PV before we have a rainwater garden which will which will process the effluent from the biodigester the biodigester gets water from the toilet water is collected from the roof we're gonna have a pond next to this house as well where where we can catch additional water but um, a rainwater garden which could be edible food or otherwise is part of this system so that's a lot of the elements on the on the house I'm gonna go over a few things that are involved in um, in the brick press so if we go to the the SMEs page on the wiki it's the, the name of the page is SMEs it actually describes the process of why subject matter experts are important and how we go about finding them and once we find them what do we do well let's contact them and actually vet them and see if they want to advise us to do things whether whether it be doing things like webinars it could be providing design assistance it could be joining our official advisory board for Open Building Institute. On the page, the SMEs page, what we will do is uh, the, the purpose of the design sprint is to get people to feedback on an upvote on who are the best people that we can get. That means after we contact them, that means can they help us? Are they willing to help us on all these subject matter areas um, like we'd like them to? So that means reaching out and identifying some of the world's best people where the best is also defined whether they're willing to share because you can have the best person in the world but they're not going to talk to you because it's proprietary essentially and we're open sourcing this information for the common good so so um, during the design sprint what we'll be doing is essentially going joining this discussion what I did here is simply it's an upvoting platform what we have is an embedded discuss on the wiki it's this thing here that the comments stuff but basically in it I've seeded it with a bunch of questions like who's the leading expert on production of growing of sprouts such as alfalfa and radish well that's for the aquaponic greenhouse for the economic model there we're looking at creating a two thousand dollar per month uh, revenue model from the aquaponic greenhouse where if we click on a greenhouse you can look at look at that but the idea here is we've built the first prototype it's beautiful it works great there's of course tons of development and our next step on that is to make make a case to to document how you can make two thousand dollars a month growing vegetables and fish together possibly mushrooms we would like to have sprouts since they're very very robust in terms of financial reward on that um, so further okay so, so I'm going through the questions that we're trying to answer so we can start thinking about them for the design sprint Okay, who are the world leading experts on water purification, taking surface water or wastewater up to potable grade? Who are the experts that can help it design a 100 watt thermoelectric generator right here? Who are the leading experts on mass production of stabilized compressed earth block? So that's one thing in terms of the compressed earth block. We really want to perfect our techniques of how we build massive quantities of bricks and the, this brick press workshop where we build a brick press in a single day that's one using our extreme techniques is happening in 30 days um, so we've got that actually it's a build of the of the brick press as well as the the power cube in a single day for each of those but we need to get some expertise on who's the <clears throat> who, who's good on mass production of compressed earth block well I can reply to that so how it works all we need to do during the design sprint is we actually edit this collaboratively all of us get on this do some internet search and we say okay I know Jim Halleck he's a
perhaps the world's leader on compress or U.S. leader Jim Halleck. Uh, so I actually contacted him. Um, he does this for a living. He does brick brick houses, and he knows how to stabilize blocks. So we we want to contact him. I just I just did that. So I'm gonna say okay. I, I inputted Jim Halleck, um, and that shows up in. Um, in the discuss discussion here and then we can upvote like you can click the upvote for this answer like Jim Halleck I'm gonna upvote that since I know he's pretty good uh, but then as pe other people put in content we can we can upvote and down downvote specific entries so essentially for each of these questions the best knowledge floats up to the top by virtue of a lot of people having their eyeballs on this and doing some research and providing expertise so that we automatically filter the best contributors potential contributors upwards and I think the and what we want to do uh, from the point where we identify those using this upvoting we would want to contact them as as up above there the action is dear subject matter expert uh, so we did a template letter for you you can send out help us do that you know it's hundreds of emails we can be sending out to people all over the world so doing a swarm or a group uh, group process on that works. So dear subject matter expert, uh, so here's the template. I'm working with open source ecology. See the TED talk by the founder, a link to my TED talk, which is typically pretty inspirational to people. It kind of shows the flavor of what we're up to and people are motivated to contribute by being inspired. So we're currently designing open source blu blueprints for civilization. Oh yeah, that's grand, but that's what we're doing, starting with housing. We just began a project called Open Building Institute, chtp openbuildinginstitute.org. We're looking for subject matter expert advisors who can help us on identifying the best designs and practices for various technologies that we are open sourcing. We're focusing now on the build of the Seed Eco Home and Aquapana Greenhouse. See the workshop schedule. And there's a link to the workshops and events. All of our plans become public domain available to everyone. Can you contribute your expertise on X? So whatever that is, whether it's uh, stabilized compressed earth blocks or whatever is in a in a in a different questions below here um, so you can look at that can you help us so select the topic can you help us on that if it's redundant well I don't think it's it hurts if if uh, somebody gets an email from from two places that's like oh, okay hey somebody you know if some somebody gets an email from two places I guess that's a stronger case for us because they think, wow, okay, these guys are looking for uh, having an extensive effort for searching out the best people. So the requirement, so here in the template email, we are looking for technical advice with a minimum of one hour per quarter commitment. And that's like really, really minimal. But that's what some of the world's best people can only give. You know, they might not have more time. Please see our existing team of advisors. And I link to the, uh, the Who We Are page which is uh, this one here, all our people here that I pointed to before and all these links will be posted. So so continuing the email, specifically we'd like to ask if you can help us develop a low cost, open source, high performance version of the X, whatever we're asking them about, that will be used in the Seed Eco Home and link to the, to the Seed Eco Home infographic at the end. Or it could be about the aquaponic green greenhouse, or it could be about the brick press. So this is just a template letter. Thanks. We just wrote it up for you so you get an idea of, of what it is. Because actually to send out, you know, send out these letters to many, many people, that's a lot of work. Um, and there's so many people out there, and, and it really takes a lot to identify those people who are really open, who are willing to help. There's definitely cultural barriers to that. Most people don't really work openly and so forth. So, so that's what we do. Some of the other questions we're asking... Um, so there's mass production of stabilized compressed earth block. Who can help produce CEB construction detailed drawings for walls, foundations, bond beams, window and door detail, roof detail, seismic design for class A, B, C, and D seismic zones. So what you see here is we've built brick houses before. Uh, right now we're getting really rigorous and getting full technical architectural details so above the kind of conceptual slash technical drawings we had before we're really taking it to the next level to professional architectural drawings so next who is the leading expert in rainwater catchment for potable water who is the leading expert on pellet burners who's the leading expert on biogas digesters for the temperate zone who's the leading expert on rainwater gardens for biodigester effluent 
who's a leading expert on hydronic stoves. So that pretty much summarizes the subject matter areas that we're missing for the build that's coming up in 10 weeks. We've got a pretty, pretty decent handle on the other things, but that's that. those are the things that we can use help on. And of course, it's always like, it's between zero and 100 for the quality. If we get to 100, that means we're excellent, but we can always do better. And the thing about inviting new people to contribute is that, hey, the more people are looking at this, the better, the better it gets. Um, sorry, this, let me uh, open up. So yeah, so the idea is, Collaboratively, we can. A little glare here. Let me fix that. Um, collaboratively, we can search and seek a number of subject matter experts to contribute to the project, mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. we just like to continue that pattern of not not reinventing the wheel, but learning from the best people in the world on that. So, so that's that's about all. That's uh, the Aquapana greenhouse workshop, the brick press. Um, the seed eco home here's our roadmap I'm also gonna link to that what we're doing here is uh, the way we can invite all these people to contribute is because we're doing some grand work like if you look at uh, look at the roadmap this is for OBI Open Building Institute by 2018 we're gonna publish the civilization civilization starter kit version 0 0.1 documentation which will be the full documentation everything you need for not not like well, for 15 of the different machines and enterprises around them, machines speaking loosely, including things like the house and aquaponic greenhouse, those are living machines. Um, but we're doing that. We're, we're creating ourselves open source blueprints for civilization to reboot civilization from scratch. Uh, this is our team. That's the TED Talk. So join us on this um, in terms of the SME search design sprint. Um, all the links will be below this video and essentially collaboratively we will download basically all of us the process is a lot of people can work in parallel to do research on the on the internet just but but the key is after we have some names down of potential experts we want to contact them and see if they're willing to help to actually contribute time and effort to the project so that's about it um, so thanks, thanks for watching, and this is going to be posted, so join us. This is about four days from now on Saturday, uh, September 27, 1 p.m. CST time, and join us on a Google Hangout. The link is there, and this, this video is being sent to the Design Sprints group. If you'd like to join the Design Sprints group, go to the Design Sprints page on the wiki, which is opensourceecology.org slash wiki slash OSE design sprint uh, you can fill out the tech team cultural survey culture culturing survey where you you fill out your skill set so that we know what what you can do it, it's basically a basic survey and then we send out an email to all the people on the tech team culturing survey list inviting them specifically to this next design sprint so hopefully you can join us and we'll see you there soon thanks